Tiger Height, and I'm here to make AEW Collision and Pro Wrestling with Jessic again. I know All In is happening right now. The show will be covered next week for me. I, I just have other things to do. And this show was just a total throwaway. They knew this wasn't going to be good, and nobody cared. So up first was Jack Perry's little retirement thing of the FTW Championship. This was so lame. God, he is so bad at the whole acting part of wrestling. He is so bad at promo. He is so bad at conveying emotion. Jesus. And that little video that he had was ridiculous. Then we had Hook come out and attack. There is a match that's either happening or happened already at All In. Nobody really cares. It gets a thumbs down. Up next was Eddie Kingston, Orange Cassidy, and Penta El Cerro Mierdo taking on The Blade, The Butcher, and Kip Sabian. The ultimate jobbers. I like how people said that they deserve better. How? How do they deserve better? They aren't really that good. But I just don't understand what the point of this was. You had the backstage promo. You had this, that, and the other thing. But it's just so dumb and random. Once again, this shows me that nobody cares. It was a sliding elbow for Eddie Kingston. It was way too back and forth because they're in a match at All In in Stadium Stampede. They are not. They probably weren't even considered. These three are probably not even in London. It was a fine match, but I just don't understand why it had to be so even. There was a post-match promo from Eddie, and then Blackpool Combat Club showed up, and just, I couldn't care less. The match itself was fine, I guess. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs down. Throw away, throw away. We have Dark Order and Action and Dreddy and Darius Martin. I still like this team, but they're just doing nothing with them. Goddamn, put them in Ring of Honor and have them just crush it there. Because they are dying to death over here. The Dark Order have been dead for God knows how long. It was a stereo German suplex jackknife pin that Dark Order do for the win. I just don't. It was a nothing sandwich and it gets a thumbs down. It was even wrestled like nobody cared. At least the crowd was hot. I'll give him that. Okay, I like this combo a lot. Big Bill with Ricky Starks. I don't hate this at all. He took on somebody named... Uh, like, Volley or whatever, Morales, doesn't really matter. It was a squash match. I'm just so happy that Big Bill still looks as good as he does. He's moving well. He looks great. Physically imposing. Chiseled out of granite. He's keeping himself healthy, and I'm happy for him. And I really like this stuff with Ricky Starks. It is a good combo. I want to see more. But let's do something with championships. Let's do a rivalry and a program that makes sense. The belt and doing all of that is fine, but it's not a rivalry. It's not a storyline. If you put him with Punk again, then I think we can make this work. But him just doing squash matches like this is a nothing. I mean, I guess it's to establish, and that's all well and good. It was a choke slam for Big Bill to win. Duh. There's more positives than I hate it. I'm gonna give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Willow Nightingale and Robin Renegade. Nobody cares. It was a match. They worked hard, but it was just sort of there. Dr. Bomb for the win. Orange Cassidy thumbs down, and that's being nice. Keith Lee is back, and he looks good. Uh, he's dyeing his hair finally. He's sh clean shaven, which I think he looks better anyway. And it looks like he lost probably about 10, 15 pounds. Good. Happy for him. He took on Ziggy Dice. Good seeing Ziggy back. Good seeing him back not being a total goofball. He actually put in some offense here. Now, he was squashed because it is Keith Lee. And it was impressive that Keith Lee hoisted Ziggy Dice as he did, effortless, just effortless with that sit-out powerbomb. It's, um, I'm, I like more than I hate it. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. I want to see more Keith Lee single stuff. Put Keith Lee with Big Bill. Have that program. That would be good for me. And in our clusterfuck, who cares main event, CM Punk, Darby Allen, Hook was the mystery guy, and Sting, who looks old as shit, taking on Jay White, Luchasaurus, and Mogul Embassy's Brian Cage, and Swerve Strickland. Why? Because we just need a clusterfuck. Oh, and Samoa Joe is on commentary. And he had a promo before this, which was actually fine. They got in there and had a fun match. Decent back and forth. Lots of time. Everybody had their little moment in the sun. Except Sting, but Sting is old. And it was a Kinkita clutch in front of Samoa Joe for the babyface of the win. 
clean, cut and simple, but then we had a mess on the outside of the ring after the match where everyone's attacking each other. That's how they ended this. Do you know why they did that? Because All In is happening literally right now, and they knew that nobody was going to watch this. I'm going to wait to see the ratings. I'm going to wait to see the demos. You know why? Because those are important. And that was Collision. Did you like it? Did you like my video? Let me know in the comments either down below or right over here. Follow this page, like the video, share it wherever you can, and as always, be majestic.